everybody welcome back to my channel i thought i would as i'm doing pole dancing at the moment i thought i would do a little tutorial on how to walk in heels because there is a certain way to do it and i mean you can walk in them any way you like but there is a certain way that they're designed to walk in i'm guessing and it just looks a lot prettier rather than So grab your heels, make sure you've warmed up your ankles. You may struggle with this. I mean, I think it, this is one of them things that just takes time to perfect and to make it look natural. But once you've got it, you've got it basically. So it just looks really, really nice. So basically what you're doing is you're not walking heel to toe like you would normally would. You are using the toe box to drag your foot across dragging and then step your foot down drag step foot down drag Do your pirouettes on the toe box, which pirouettes I found so difficult to get the hang of. Some people, it's different with everyone, but some people will get things straight away. Some people will take a while to learn things. So pirouette was one of the things that I found looked so easy and simple and it, it just took me so long to make it look good. So don't be too hard on yourself if you're feeling like you're not progressing at the rate that you would like just keep practicing and you will get there so yep just drag step drag heel toe drag heel toe drag heel toe drag and i think it's very i feel it's a very good idea to learn if you're going to be using heels obviously to learn how to walk in them because when you're pole dancing if you're stuck in between each move what to do or you're forgotten your move and you're trying to remember it it's always good to have the these little moves down to sort of fill up the time while you're thinking so I could be working out what I'm going to do next. Right, I'm going to go around here now. Oh, actually, I need to be on this side, so I'm just going to turn. Still can't remember what I'm going to do, so I'm going to do a pirouette. I mean, I will do a separate tutorial on a pirouette to break it down, but I was just showing you different sort of moves you can do while you're walking. It's always a good idea to work on strengthening your ankles. I don't really spend much time separately from the pole conditioning my ankles, to be honest. I literally just do a little bit of a warm up with them. And the constant walking around in them is obviously conditioning. I wear them five days a week, so my ankles are stronger now and able to handle walking around in them. I've got my balance, I'm not going to fall unless I step on something uneven. Um, it looks normal, me walking in them. So, it just takes time and practice. Some good conditioning moves for your heels and getting stronger ankles. Really simple one, which I still do. I try and do it every time I pole dance, but I do forget sometimes. But it's just to go up on the toe box. Try not, if you've got hypermobiles, hypermobiles. If you've got hypermobile knees like me, try not to lock them back, which I really struggle with. I find it very difficult to keep, the, to keep my legs straight, but it's another conditioning for me to try and keep them straight while I'm doing this. But just go up, and that will just strengthen your ankles a little bit. Just add that into your warm up routine with your heels on. So yeah, that was just a little quick demo of how to walk in the heels. I don't ever really walk 
away from the pole too much, really. I may walk to go and get the door if somebody knocks on the door. But I walk in them like normal shoes then. If I'm on the camera recording, then I will always walk like that. I just like holes, they look so so nice. They really help tone your legs. They make your bum look good. They're just I, lo I love them. As we all know, <laughs> um, they even go the legs. I remember the first time I got some eight inch heels and I put them on and I nearly broke my ankle. So they're really not as easy as they look to walk in if you've never had a pair before. I find that eight inches are easier to do toe work lining up on the toes but I find seven inches are easier to actually walk in normally so if I was to actually go and work in a club or something I'd wear seven inch heels just so I wouldn't fall over breaking my neck well, thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you'd like to see more heel videos and tutorials unboxings all of that amazing good stuff so I will see you next time thanks again and Make sure you subscribe and follow my socials to keep up to date with me. Anyway, I'll see you all soon. Have a lovely day.